my name is Ravindra. Uh, I'm a OCP project, uh, networking project co-lead along with Barack. And uh, we have an exciting series of talks lined up for today uh, and tomorrow. Um, we'll kick it off with an introduction session. And for those who are new to OCP networking, a uh, little bit of an overview of the networking project. Um, and then we'll hand it off to the next presenter. I'm Ravindra Sunkat. I'm the uh, OCP networking project co-lead along with Barack. I'm a software engineering manager at the uh, networking team FBOSS at Meta and Barack. Good morning, guys. Uh, Barack Gaffney, uh, working as an architect for NVIDIA, uh, co-lead together with Ravindra uh, for the networking project for the couple, uh, few months. Yeah, it's August, <laughs> to be precise. Uh, Jason Forrester couldn't be here. Jason represents the OCP networking project at the incubation committee of OCP. A quick uh, run through the agenda today. Uh, we'll do an introduction to the project for those who are new and uh, some of the sub-projects in there. And uh, then Barack will go through some of the recaps that happened since the last summit a year ago and what's coming. But before that, we would like to thank Omar and Rupa for their leadership over many years to bring the project to where it is. Um, Omar for over eight years and Rupa for the last couple of years. And uh, now it's a thriving ecosystem across many areas and it started off so small and uh, I really appreciate their uh, support and uh, like Everybody to give a round of applause. So the mission for the networking project, um, it is to facilitate and enable open hardware and software to support large scale hyper data center as well as enterprise and telco networks. And the key Op operating words are open here and large scale. Um, and the scope of the project includes hardware. Or the hardware could be switches, routers, optical interconnects, electrical interconnects, uh, anything which is hardware that's applicable to these large scale deployments. And when it comes to software and firmware, it's, it's anything that supports these op OCP hardware, right? Um, we have many instances of that already. Uh, ONI, um, Open Network Linux, SAI uh, are some examples, and we have more coming. And when it comes to large scale networks, network management and operations are key. And anything that supports that and fosters that uh, is in the scope for the project uh, of scalability or improving efficiency or telemetry for operations, all those are in scope. So how does a project collaborate? So we have a monthly meeting uh, every second Monday of the month wherein uh, there are contributions presented. Uh, we review them first in the monthly meetings before we take it to the inc incubation committee. Um, it could be hardware. Uh, or it could be a proposal for new areas of collaborations. We always have new and upcoming areas that require collaboration in the commu uh, uh, community. And uh, we review them first there, and then, and then we decide whether that needs to be a new focus area or can be folded into an existing focus area. There's email groups uh, for communication. Uh, there's a group for the whole project. and. And we also talk about sub-projects later. And then there's a wiki page. We publish the, the recordings of the meetings as well as meeting minutes. And then there are sub-projects. What are sub-projects? Uh, when the scope of a project becomes large, uh, then we spin off sub-projects to focus on specific areas. And each of these sub-projects have their own uh, project leads. And they have their own monthly or periodic meetings. 
and they publish notes, they have their own mailing groups and wikis. So here are some of the sub-projects um, that we already have been having for our last few years. Open network install environment, or the ONI, it's a short form for that. Um, that's, that's a piece of software that helps install the networking OS onto the switches and routers. And open networking Linux, which has been standardizing platform management interfaces across a variety of platforms. Switch abstract interface is an open API to control and configure switches. And ECS for enterprise connectivity solutions to focus on solutions and products for enterprise deployment, which the requirements vary from the data center deployments. So that's why it's a separate focus area. And in the last year, we have two new sub-projects launched, uh, one around Nix software uh, to focus on open APIs and open software to manage some of the networking features in the NIC, especially the offloaded features. And there's a new emerging area of active electrical cables, uh, interconnects, and uh, there was enough activity there to, to create a new sub-project. Uh, an update on the Sonic, uh, the project sub-project has moved to Linux Foundation, but uh, we still actively collaborate with that uh, sub uh, team because of our shared interest on SAI and open hardware. So there's a lot of overlap, so we continue to collaborate with that uh, project. In fact, I think they had a workshop yesterday uh, on, on various Sonic topics. So I'll hand it off to Barack to talk about the rest of the presentation. All right, so uh, just to recap on what we had um, uh, since the last summit. Um, so around May, we held the uh, Tech Talks, which were kind of a virtual uh, summit, if you will, uh, as we didn't have um, you know that many meetings uh, during COVID times. So uh, we had um, quite a few uh, presentations to update on uh, areas of interest for the community. Um, for example, um, the rise of the uh, kind of different types of integration for switches and optics, uh, such as the uh, 51.2T uh, NPL switch. Um, so I think that was quite a successful um, um, couple of days. Um, for the uh, sub-projects updates, so um, on the Nix software again, uh, it was just founded uh, this year and already started to draft um, the first uh, uh, NIC offload spec. Um, the AC again, uh, started as well, um, kind of uh, worked on uh, ratifying the 56 um, uh, gig per lane ACs and uh, uh, looking forward. The SAI or SAI uh, has kind of a regular cadence of versions, new features. Um, we will hear more uh, during the coming two days about um, of the advancements that are going on through the uh, SEI. Um, only had uh, quarterly releases um, and uh, kind of uh, uh, maintaining um, new features or uh, any updates or issues that uh, uh, may arise. Um, can you, yeah, you can still see me. Yeah, and uh, for enterprise, um, uh, there is the work um, on the gigabit uh, switch community. Again, it's not that very common for data planes of data centers, but it's definitely necessary for um, the enterprise uh, um, operation. Uh, what's upcoming? Um, so we have a couple of uh, switch out contributions in the pipeline. Uh, we're looking forward uh, to um, make a work progress there. Um, the OCP is also forming a new um, contribution workflow. Uh, we will discuss that uh, in the coming uh, meetings, uh, monthly meetings that we have as part of the project. A um, couple of updates on the sub-projects. So again, the Nix software is now focusing on offloads, uh, kind of um, uh, foundational offloads and also uh, crypto work. And the ACs are, again, uh, is, uh, uh, go going forward, looking forward towards the 112 gig uh, per lane ACs uh, with up to 1.6 uh, terabit per second um, per cable. Um, 
and we will have uh, many more updates uh, during these coming two days um, uh, during the, the sessions that we have here uh, for all, uh, all ongoing uh, sub-projects that we have here. Um, we will note here that, um, uh, again, I think we see in the community a lot of work towards new architectures on optics and how would optics be connected um, or integrated, should I say, right? Um, to the networking elements such as uh, NICs, DPUs, switches, routers, and so on. Um, so we decided in the OCP to have um, dedicated special um, optics engineering workshop. So I think uh, it's highly recommended for all of you guys uh, to attend um, today's PM session uh, on this topic as well. And a call for action. Um, as Ravindra mentioned, we have a monthly call. You're all um, uh, welcome, and uh, we will be more than glad to see you guys um, listening to the uh, new advancements, new suggestions. Come with your own um, ideas, and uh, uh, to you know, to issue more um, topics for us to, to work on. Um, engage with the subprojects. So subprojects again have their own uh, cadence of meetings. Um, uh, they are more focused, right? But on the project meetings, we try to kind of give a brief or more broad updates. Um, but for anyone that is actually working on these uh, projects, um, uh, mailing lists also are very good to get updates on. Um, again, bring new ideas um, for the community uh, to work on and collaborate. And we also keep our uh, try to keep our, our wiki page as updated as, as we can uh, with the materials. We record the meetings, so even if you missed a couple of last meetings, you can still go ahead, take a look what happened there, maybe comment, uh, see presentations, um, and uh, kind of engage with the community going forward. With that, um, we'll start our day with the uh, next talk. But yeah, I think we have a few minutes left, a couple of minutes left for any questions. Any questions, comments, suggestions? Some of the software projects seem to overlap other projects in CMTS and or LSS and those kind of issues. Do you discuss or coordinate with others for them, or what's the relationship for those two? Sure. Um, yeah, so a, a good example is Sonic, right? Uh, uh, Sonic used to be part of the OCP networking uh, project, and it's Moodle Linux Foundation. Uh, but there's a lot of shared interest uh, between Sonic and OCP. Uh, for example, SAI is a common uh, factor there, and even OCP hardware. So, so if you see, so we do collaborate through SAI as well as uh, we, they are co hosting their workshop right here. Uh, so, we try to do that even outside, and we do bring OCP to other conferences and uh, other conferences, like you would see ONF here at the OCP. So th th there is uh, interaction, but the focus for our project is software that enables OCP hardware. That's our uh, principle. Paul? Um, the enterprise project Gigabit Switch, is, uh, is that focused on hardware, or is there a software component to that as well? Uh, Barack, you can add, but uh, I there is a hardware. There's actually a Ethernet, one gig Ethernet switch spec was reviewed. Uh, it's uh, it's available on the wiki now, and the the software. When it comes to software, it's mostly in Sonic and Psy, and uh, I think there are some talks today by Target on what their experience has been deploying um, OCP hardware and software for campus networks, and so it's uh, it's both. We are out of time. Um, we'd like to uh, invite the next presenter. Thank you. <laughs>